For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. Alright, guys, I'm gonna do these two very easy problems together. You have two couples acting on the beam. If f is equal to 125, find the resultant couple moment, and then they give you the couple moment and they want you to find f. So, the first thing you gotta understand from here is this. You have these two forces going in kind of a diagonal, but these forces have components. They have a, this component and this component. And this force has a component going up and a component going that way. So as you can see, the components that are doing this are actually creating a moment. But the components, since both forces are the same, the components that are going up and down are canceling each other out. So they're not really doing anything. Once you understand that, this problem becomes much, much easier. So that being explained out of the way, as you can see, the moments going up and down are doing absolutely nothing. So what we can do is we can replace this by just the X components, what you would call the X components. Those are the only components that are actually doing something. And to find those components, let's call that F of X is equal to F cosine of 30. That's imp important to understand. That being said, let's form a formula. The assuming a uh, kind of clockwise is positive, the sum of the moments is equal to the moment being created by this 200 couple moment, which is 200 times the distance between them, which is 1.5 plus now the moment created by the two X components, because remember the Y components don't do anything. They cancel each other out. The two X components are F cosine of 30 times the distance between them, which is again 1.25 is equal to, well, whatever is, is equal to uh, the sum of the moments actually, let me just put it there. So on the first one, they're giving you F and they're telling you find the resultant moment. So in part one, they give you F. So in part one, we have 200 times 1.5 plus F, which is 125 times the cosine of 30 times 1.25 and they're telling you find the moment so find this moment and when you plug all this into your calculator you're gonna find that this moment goes out to be 435.3 foot pounds of course because we're in feet and pounds so that's the answer for the first one on the second one they're tell they're giving you the moment and they're telling you find f to create such moment so it's 450 is equal to 200 times 1.5 plus F cosine of 30 times 1.25. So basically all you gotta do is solve for F. And when you do, you get that F is equal to 138.6 pounds. So final answer for the first one, final answer for the second one, easy problems guys. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.